get rid of this cable and uh, ah damn oh shit ah. Woof. ah okay move an inch or two to the right and okay kind of bouncy hope this thing doesn't break wouldn't be the first time okay hello there spring is in full effect and birds nature's natural born birds can be heard everywhere if only we knew what they are trying to tell us with their song. Looking for chicks? Chip, I want some chicks. Chip, chip, looking for chicks. Okay, birds are more like nature's construction workers, but nonetheless, their singing tends to have a calming quality to it. And it can be used to great effect, not only for filmic purposes, but also as great atmosphere to set a certain kind of mood for a song or a track. It's been used back in the day by the Beatles, all the way to contemporary artists like Celeste. So I am going to show you some methods to replicate bird calls. And while we are at that, I'm going to rate them by the cheapness factor. That was a pun. Cheap, cheap, get it? With cheapness factor, I mean I'm going to rate them by the price. From lowest to highest. So without any further ado, let's get into the cheap stuff. Starting off with number one, your mouth. If you have lips and a tongue, um, you probably can whistle and... What will it cost you? Nothing. Most people come with a mouth pre-installed to their body anyway, so give it a go and let it blow. Just like that. So, moving on. Next up, the so-called... Where is this? Oh, don't lose it. It's tiny. Uh, next up, the so-called um, Vogelpfeiffer. This thin metal and um, cardboard paper um, construction holds a tiny membrane. I don't know if you can see that. It's really tiny. You just um, put it in your mouth. Don't accidentally swallow it. Um, you don't want to end up in the hospital. And you press it against your front teeth. Behind your front teeth, okay? Beaver mode, beaver mode engaged. You press it behind, behind you, press it against your gum, okay? The, the palate. Remember that the membrane has to face your teeth. Okay? Huh? You gotta wait a minute or so till it's. You gotta wait a minute or so till it's fully soaked, and then you try to make a loud hissing noise, like. Okay? Oh, crap. Ah, takes a little practice, but you can achieve some quite convincing bird sounds. There's some pros out there. I'm not one of them, but yeah. Cost factor, about two bucks. Oh, and by the way, that membrane can rip quite easily. So if I were you, I would order them in bulk. Um, get a few of them. So you have some spare ones. Next up, we have this um, ceramic chirping bird pipe which by itself doesn't sound much like a bird but if you fill it halfway up with water you can get some nice trills with this thing um, like that you can experiment with the water level and you can tilt the uh, bird back and forth to get some variety in your sound oh Ah, just be careful that you don't blow too much into this thing, unless you want to get sprayed with water. And whatever you do, don't put your thing on this hole, unless you want to have an accident. Gotta be careful with all this gear here, huh? It's by far more easier... Oh, water. Um, it's by far more easier to operate than the paper bird pipe, and you can't swallow it, unless you have a very large mouth and are very hungry. So this could make a good birthday present for a kid. Huh? So if your little cousin Jimmy is a ornithologist, cost factor, about two bucks. So, moving on. Coming up next is this. Oh, did Ron Burgundy just bring a jazz flute to the club? <laughs> yeah, flutes have been used for ages to mimic bird calls in classical pieces. Um, Sergei Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf um, would be the most prominent example. Cost factor? Ah, uh, uh, this Yamaha YFL. Um, 271 costs around um, 700 bucks um, new, but I bought mine used for around 400 euros, um, so uh, not cheap. There are flutes that are far more expensive. <laughs> yeah, you can shell out some cash for, for such a thing. I'm trying to keep this on a budget, so this thing will do. Um, but does it sound like a flute? I don't know. 
let me know in the comments. And lastly, if we move into the electronic domain, a synthesizer like this replica of the ARP 2600 is capable of producing some nice chirpy sounds. So let's have a look at that. So I have this whole thing set up um, and let's have a look at the patching. I could use um, the sine wave output of either VCO2 or VCO3, but you know, um, the sine wave of an analog synth tends to be not so clean like a digital one. It's still got some edges left. What I can do instead is I can take the VCF, voltage controlled filter, and put up the resonance to the maximum. So the filter goes into self oscillation, which gives me a pretty clean sine wave, which by itself sounds like this. It doesn't sound much like a bird. So we gotta tune it to the upper end of the frequency spectrum, around 10 to 20k. Already sounds a little bit birdish. And now comes the cool part. We can um, use some modulation to make it sound like a bird. So if we take the sine wave output of VCO2, don't forget to turn it to um, low frequency mode. So it does act like an LFO. What I'm doing is I'm not going straight into the control section of the filter because analog sine wave is a little bit edgier than a, than a clean one. What I can do is I can take the sine wave output and um, send it through this lag processor here, um, goes in here and the output goes um, into the control section of the filter. And if I increase this, it will round off the edges. And if I turn up the modulation, yeah. Oh, chirpy. Nice little birdie, huh? We can modulate the frequency even further with the ADSR, our envelope generator. And the good thing is it's already pre-patched to the frequency control of the filter. So if I pull this guy here up, yeah. Oh. Sounds like a nice little chick, huh? Oh, little birdie is crying for mama, huh? Don't worry, mama bird is going to bring a nice juicy warm. So, now we can play around with the depth of the modulation and the frequency of the filter for a nice little bird concerto. So, some nice bird sounds. Cost factor, uh, around 600 bucks. This is by far the cheapest option for a piece of gear like that. You can spend a lot of cash, a lot of cash, especially if you go fully modular. That's synth crack for you, you know? Um, if I went full modular, I would be doomed. I would, I would never financially um, recover from that, okay? I would be always itching for the next thing, you know? So, no, 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 no. I just saved you. You can thank me later. And if you're already into modular stuff, may God have mercy on your soul. So, why recreate bird calls in the first place? Why not just record the real deal? A bird. There's lots of reasons for that. Um, nature tends to be quite unpredictable and birds are a subject that are hard to get a hold of. Um, you can sneak up on them all you want, but one wrong move and who? They're gone. You also need the right equipment for that kind of job. A decent portable recorder and a shotgun microphone with good off-axis rejection um, can cost you quite some money. A good shotgun microphone alone can cost you around 1000 bucks. And uh, don't get me started on parabolic because their prices are off the charts. Plus, if you don't have the luck to live in a remote area, you have to factor in travel expenses. With growing urban landscapes, the places where you can record bird calls without undesirable um, background noises are getting fewer and fewer. I can consider myself lucky because I live by a nearby forest, but I still have to deal with some significant traffic noise. Even at 5 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday, there's at least one poor soul that has to drag its ass to work. And in the end, all that money spent is no guarantee that you will catch that one specific bird call. The most valuable resource that you are using for a good field recording is your own time. So you can't put a price on that. So there you have it. Some nice bird calls. If you found this information useful in any shape or form, please leave a like or a sub. And if there's anything you want to get off your chest, please let me know in the comments. Peace. I'm out. Uh, I hope I didn't catch a tick. Uh, wouldn't be too nice.
Okay. By the way, if anybody's interested, I put a link to the samples of the bird calls, the real ones and the sampled ones, into the description. Cost factor, cheapness factor, zero. It's free.